What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day, so make sure to check back every single day. We've just hit 20k subscribers, so thank you all so, so much. Let's get to 30k and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. Plenty of free crypto and goodies down there. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and this is probably because you haven't hit the bell icon. Thank you again for all your support. The algorithm is slamming a lot of content creators right now, so we really appreciate all your support. And we're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So make sure to jump into the Telegram and the free Discord. So we're just taking a really quick look at Polygon here. And as we can see, we're still heading up and to the right for the most part. For Polygon, obviously we've had a little bit of a correction over the past few days, but that was pretty, um, pretty obvious in our opinion. If you watched our, yesterday's video, you would have heard us say that we have hit a decent resistance here up at around three front. You know, it's a front run $3, but it's essentially $3, isn't it? We come up to around 293 here. People start taking profits before that $3 mark. Basically getting out at break even if they bought at around 260, 266, 270 at the previous all time high with a little bit of profit as well. A lot of people taking profits here before that $3 mark. And you can see quite clearly these bearish divergences that we did talk about in yesterday's video coming to fruition here as we roll over, come down to retest support. Obviously, with people taking a lot of profits over the past few days to pay their end of year taxes, we have actually seen a little bit of a rollover in the market because of that quite clearly here. You can see basically what's been going on is, you know, we come up, we get overextended, we've got the bearish divergence here and you can see we've just rolled over back down to support, haven't we? Back down to this level here at around 246 to 250, we'd say there's a quite a key area of structure here that has been acting as support previously. And right now, you know, we could potentially be looking at, you know, Polygon forming a bit of a head and shoulders formation like this. If we come back up and get stuck in this area here, and then obviously we could come back down and roll back down to that previous swing high that we have seen down here at around, you know, that 222 area. Obviously, these key levels have always been very prevalent on the way up for Polygon. As we've mentioned numerous times, you can see swing high here. We come up, we come back down and then we come back up. You can see that previous, previous swing high here at 180 come down as support. And then you can see here this previous swing high here, this 222 one. It's interesting because it's acted as resistance here, but it's not been retested as support yet. And we could see that head and shoulders formation here looking something like this, where we basically come back down and do what we've always done for Polygon, which is even though we're heading up and to the right overall, as you can quite clearly tell, we do need to come back down and retest support before continuation. And that head and shoulders formation would give us the perfect excuse, in my opinion anyway, to come down to around that 222 level here and retest that previous swing high as support before getting the bounce which is exactly what Polygon's been doing all the way up, isn't it? On the four hour time frame, you can see it quite clearly. Very, very clearly, in fact, that we have just been, you know, coming up, coming back down, making higher highs and higher lows, but always retesting the previous swing high. You can see here, come back down, retest the swing high, come up, come back down, retest the swing high, come back up, come back down, and then we'll retest this swing high here. Probably come back up, make another, um, another higher high with Polygon looking bullish, come back down, retest this previous swing high and just continue to the upside because Polygon's looking super bullish right now, even in the face of the bearish sentiment that we do have in the market with people taking profits over the past few days, etc. And we wouldn't be surprised, as we've said, to see Polygon hitting some of our price targets for the whole year, which was five to ten dollars. Everyone was saying it looked pretty unlikely down here at 63 cents that we'd hit five to ten dollars. But, you know, we're not that far away now, only a few dollars away. Only around, a, you know, a two or four X from the, the current price. And considering Polygon still got a fairly low market cap, we do think that that is, you know, quite possible in our opinion, especially considering what we've seen happen with Solana and a AVAX. Solana, you know, having an absolute crazy rip, $50, $60 billion market cap, Avalanche at $30 billion market cap, Polygon now at a $20 billion market cap. We do think a two, three, four X of Polygon by the end of the run with everything else pumping up as well is, you know, more than possible in our opinion. So Polygon, in our opinion, looking good. We are expecting a bit more downside in the short term though. As we said, this head and shoulders formation could be quite likely to come back down. And uh, obviously with the market looking like it might roll over a little bit more, sweeping out some of that liquidity for Bitcoin, Polygon will probably get dragged down to, you know, as we said, this previous level of support at around 222. But we do think beyond that, as we said, we'll probably come down, get a bounce, head back to the all time high. And then we do have that next target, as we said, for the short term, the 127 at $4. 
And then as we just said, beyond that, we do think Polygon, highly likely in our opinion, will be seeing that $5 mark and maybe even $10 by the end of the run. So I'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with four videos we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. There are three tiers giving you access to our private Discord. Crypto support is available if you just want to help us out a small amount. Crypto Maximalist is our main tier, which gives you access to detailed daily technical analysis and signals, weekly and monthly coin calls, and insights into our personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes it a step further giving you an insight into our personal portfolio tracker, super low cap gem research, and a 100x portfolio we're constructing and updating, and access to us personally as a resource to discuss your portfolio via Messenger. Make sure to check it out. You can also sign up to our free Telegram and public Discord via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are... Crypto Maximus.